Uh, first of all, thank you all for coming today. Obviously, this is an exciting day because every time we do these press conferences, it means we're getting closer and closer to August 29th when we will open the stadium. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Dr. Mark Lynn and Cindy for the beautiful stadium that we're about to play in. Certainly, Able Construction, who's working tirelessly to make sure that they meet that deadline. Um, with the rough winter that we had, I'm, I'm fairly certain that everything is on. Josh will certainly tell us that, but it looks great to us, so I'm, I'm fairly certain that everything's a go for August 29th. Um, the combination of playing in the ACC and opening the finest soccer facility in the country is probably going to be the most memorable experience that I've had in my 14 years here at the University of Louisville, but certainly for our players, you know, specifically Casey Whitfield, who's a local Louisvillean, who's grown up coming to games and now is one of the players that our, our younger players aspire to be like. So for Casey and her family, what a wonderful opportunity to play in the nicest college soccer facility in the country. Yeah, and I, I can only echo the comments that Karen made, and, and obviously there are so many people to thank uh, for the opportunity to play in college soccer's best stadium. Uh, they've, a lot of people have worked hard uh, to get it ready for our season. Uh, again, Able Construction have been phenomenal. Um, Dr. Lynn's support right from the beginning, it wouldn't happen without, without their uh, investment in, in our programs, but more importantly in the student athletes and uh, we, we certainly want to thank them. There's two things that really make this season um, so exciting. One is, is playing in the, the new stadium. Um, it is going to be clearly the best uh, stadium in college soccer, and, and with that, we're going to provide our, our players uh, the best facility, as well as our fans, the best facility to watch college soccer. The second part is, is going into the ACC, which allows us now to uh, develop new relationships, new rivalries, and uh, and bring, quite honestly, uh, for both programs, the finest uh, uh, opponents in college soccer to our stadium and here. Um, both are uh, and have been the best uh, conferences in college soccer, both for men and women, and now to have them here and host them um, is going to be even more special for for our programs as well as the stadium as well. So we're, we're so excited for both of those reasons. Uh, it'll be a landmark season. And uh, one, we, we also encourage uh, people to come out and uh, be a part of this season, not just the first game, but the season. Um, and, and with that, encourage uh, the, the fans to come out for the first game uh, because my anticipation, our anticipation is that the ticket's gonna be hard to come by. Um, so uh, we would recommend that if you want to be a part of that, that first game and that landmark game is to, to get them early. The quality of student athletes that we're able to get on campus now to take a visit to see the university, to see the stadium, to compete in the best conference, uh, has been monumental. That, that's been crazy for us to uh, be bringing in the caliber of student athletes that we're bringing in. So now the, the, the big piece is we've got to get one of them, but certainly I think that's, that those are the two, those are the most important pieces for us to continue to grow our programs, to develop soccer in the city, to develop soccer in the region, and ultimately into the, into the country. Yeah, for me initially it's uh, my heart rate goes up every time that I get closer to the stadium and I see it, uh, there's a genuine excitement for it. And, and what happens is initially for, for the, all those recruits and people that um, you know, are interested in our program, the initial drawings were great. But now when we get them actually in the facility, when you get them around it, you could see the genuine excitement. And there's a momentum building because of that, that the more people that actually see it you know whether it's them driving by or actually stand in the in the stadium um, there's a growing momentum of excitement that's um, it, it's encouraging for our programs and um, anticipating a, a lot of growth because of it The first statement, I was, I was actually um, in Philadelphia this weekend at the Philadelphia Union. We, I was watching trainings, I was watching their youth, and the first question from every coach, whether it was John Hackworth, who was the head coach, 
uh, of the union or everybody involved with their youth program was how is the facility coming along? Where are you at? When are you going to get started? Um, and if in the circle of, of college soccer or professional or youth soccer, that tends to be the first question that we're getting asked. Just for perspective, Anson Dorrance is probably the um, figurehead for women's soccer, and he asked if he could play all of his home games in our stadium. So I think it definitely has reverberated throughout the women's soccer and certainly throughout men's soccer. Yeah, we've taken our student athletes to, to go in there and to get excited about the facility that they'll be playing in. And definitely we've taken some recruits in there as well. Um, I've probably not been there for like two weeks, so I'm really as excited as you are to get in there and see it because it changes every single time we go in there. Yeah, uh, same with us. Is, uh, we're, we're in there on a regular basis just watching the, uh, the growth, the updates of it. And our student athletes, our, our players have been in there as well as uh, prospective student athletes as well. I think the roof is a, a signature element of it. And for sure, it's one of those things that not only was it awesome to see the roof up, but you understand how big the stadium is. It's awesome. And uh, the, the, the roof means so much. It is a signature, but it also means that um, we're providing our fans a place where the elements are not going to be a factor so much. And, and I think that's a wonderful thing in, in building the stadium. It's not just about coming up uh, to, to watch, but watching it in the best possible atmosphere possible. The canopy, de the canopy definitely was awesome, um, but I think as I'm driving on 65 now and I see the words Louisville written out in the stadium seats, that's pretty impressive also. So uh, those two pieces definitely how were, were moments for me. I think we both hope that we can get in there before August 29th. Um, no one's really telling us a day. You know, we have preseason. Our preseason opens August 5th, so the goal would be to at least have our offices and the kids' locker rooms in there. Um, but maybe the 28th, we can get a little practice, a little run around before our first game. It's likely that we'd, we'd like to be in there more than we're going to, um, but I'm sure we're going to get some opportunities prior to that at least to, to get on the field and uh, obviously be in our offices prior to that day. I definitely think that started, and I'm sure I don't. We don't really deal with the ticket end of things, but I'm sure. I mean, everyone's going to want to get in there to see the facility, and like Ken said, you don't want to be on the the tail end of that. You want to be on the front end of that to make sure that you can get in there for all of the games. It'll likely be our best schedule in, in recent history. Um, not only, again, for us, we have traditional uh, local rivals like the Big Ten schools of Indiana and Ohio State and, and, and Kentucky and, and St. Louis. Those are, you know, some schools we'll play every year, but then you start throwing in, you know, Duke and uh, Clemson and, you know, those type of schools that we're going to be playing as well and uh, Wake Forest. And it, it all, all of a sudden ramps up the schedule that much more. And, um, you know, our, our hope each and every year is that the, the schedule is one that prepares us for postseason play in two ways. One is RPI, um, because your RPI will dictate where you fall in postseason and what your seed is. Um, but just from a play standpoint of being prepared mentally and physically to, to play against the best teams in the country, and I think this schedule is going to do both. 